Marion is Sarah Winchester's niece. She's um, been a very close family member since the time that Marion was born. Her nickname actually originally was Daisy, which um, we did have in the film, but it was sort of confusing in the end. But uh, it just sort of shows how close their relationship was. Uh, Sarah Winchester is a pretty interesting woman. Um, I just heard today that there's no birth certificate recorded for her, which is very interesting, particularly when you're doing a story about ghosts. And did she ever really exist? <laughs> um, but she did. There's a one photograph of her. Sarah Winchester, she built this um, amazing house called the Winchester House, now the Winchester Mystery House, over in San Jose, California. And it's uh, full of these strange architectural oddities. And um, she was the heir to the Winchester Rifle Fortune, which was the gun that won the West, so a substantial uh, wealth behind her in her family. I think Helen Mirren in the role of Sarah Winchester is is just a no-brainer in the end. I think, you know, a woman who can command such, com such respect, but with such generosity and, and um, strength. And um, I think someone to give a lot of depth to Sarah Winchester, who is a character that a lot has been written about, but no one really knows the truth, necessarily. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, working with Jason has been amazing. He's, he's great, and I've seen him so many times in so many different films. He's one of those actors who sort of pops up everywhere, and then you learn that he's Australian, and you go, oh, I didn't even know that. That's, a, that's extraordinary. Um, I missed that somehow. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's so, always so solid and so you know, commanding in terms of his stage presence, and, and so... Uh, you know, direct with his objectives and what he's doing on screen. It's, a, it's really, to be able to see how that works on the other side of the camera, it's been really wonderful. Hi there, I hope you liked the video. Now, I have to be quick on this one as I'm trying to set a record. Did you know the shortest performance to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor was Anthony Quinn's Eight Minute to the Forces Gauguin in the 1956 movie Lust for Life? Meanwhile, the shortest performance to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress was Beatrice Strait's 5 minutes and 40 seconds performance in the 1976 film Network. Yes! Well, looks like a bit both of them. So if anyone from the Academy is watching, you know where to find me. Oh, by the way, my name is Valeria. Now, remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See ya!